From Riri's Fenty Beauty to JB's Drew House, musicians aren't just good at what they do, but they're also hella good at running their businesses. If you don't believe me, then this video's for you. Just take Queen Bey, for example. Now, Beyonce is a well-known musician, actress, and producer, but she has also built an extensive business empire. She founded Parkwood Entertainment in 2010 as a management and entertainment company. The company manages her music and acting careers, and those of other artists such as Chloe and Hallie. That's not all though. Bay also launched Ivy Park, an activewear clothing line, in collaboration with fashion retailer Topshop in 2016. And in 2019, she purchased Topshop Steak, then relaunched the brand in collaboration with Adidas. Beyonce has also produced and directed several films, including Homecoming, a documentary about her Coachella performance in 2018, and Black is King, a visual album that will be released on Disney Plus in 2020, and has also released several fragrances, including her first, Heat, released in 2010. Beyonce and her husband Jay-Z have also used their money for good. The couple established several charitable initiatives, including the Sean Carter Foundation, which provides scholarships to underprivileged students, and the Bay Good Foundation, which supports a variety of charitable causes. Overall, Beyonce's business ventures reflect her varied talents and interests, and since we're already talking Talking about the Carters, why don't we take a look at Jay-Z? Jay founded Rock Nation in 2008 as a full-service entertainment company with a music label, talent agency, and management firm. The company represents some of the biggest names in music, including Rihanna, J. Cole, and DJ Khaled. The rapper also acquired Tidal, a music streaming service, in 2015, and has since transformed it into a platform offering high-quality audio and exclusive content from various artists. But he's not just in the music world. Jay-Z also co-founded a clothing line called Rockaware. He got his hands on this one back in 1999. The brand was sold in 2007 for $204 million. But why stop there when you can be a champagne brand owner? Jay-Z acquired Armand de Brignac a champagne brand. In 2014, the brand is known for its distinctive gold bottles and has become popular among celebrities and high-end consumers. Now this next person, actually another one of Jay-Z's successful ventures, and just gave us a Super Bowl halftime performance. Yes, I'm talking about Riri, obviously. Rihanna, also known as Robin Rihanna Fenty, is not just a singer and songwriter, but also a businesswoman and a successful one. She launched Fenty Beauty in 2017, a makeup line that quickly gained popularity for its inclusive range of foundation shades and diverse ad campaigns. The brand has since expanded to include other makeup products, including lipsticks, eyeliners, and highlighters. But then Rihanna thought, let's expand my empire. And then she launched Savage and Fenty in 2018, a lingerie line that aims to promote inclusivity and body positivity. The brand offers a wide range of sizes and styles, and has featured models of all shapes, sizes, and skin tones in its ad campaigns. You can even watch Savage and Fenty's runway show, which showcases her collections. Also, Rihanna launched Fenty Skin in 2020, a skincare line that features simple and effective products designed to work for all skin types and tones. Way to go, Riri! On that note, it's also my cue to go to the next person who gave us a fever back in the day. My bad, Bieber fever. That that's right, it's Justin Bieber. JB's Drew House is a clothing brand he launched in 2019 with Ryan Good. The brand's name was inspired by Justin's middle name, Drew, and it offers a range of clothing and accessories designed to be comfortable and casual. The Drew House collection includes hoodies, t-shirts, sweatpants, and accessories such as phone cases, hats, and socks. The clothing is typically characterized by its oversized fits and smiley face logos, which have become synonymous with the brand. It gives off skater and grunge vibes, and I'm totally here for it. Drew House has been successful in part due to Justin's massive social media following. He has used his Instagram account to promote the brand to his millions of followers. And till now, the brand's Instagram account has also gained a large following. I mean, good for Biebs. But believers, I have to move on. So don't be pissed, okay? She's the only exception. It's Hayley Williams. We all know her as the lead vocalist of the rock band 
and Paramore, right? But she has also dabbled in a few business ventures. She co-founded Good Dye Young, a hair dye company that offers a variety of vibrant, cruelty-free hair colors in 2016. The mission of the company is to encourage self-expression and individuality, like everyone wanted hair like hers back then, and she made that happen. Haley, the MVP. And that's not all. She's not just a singer and business owner, guys. Haley Williams is also a talented artist who has displayed her work in several exhibitions. I mean, what more can she do? I'm in awe, clearly. And while I'm awestruck, let's turn a page and move on to the story of us. I mean, the story of how Tay Tay also became a business gal. Taylor Swift founded her production company in 2018 as a subsidiary of Universal Music Group. The company has produced several music videos and live concert films, including the 1989 World Tour Live and Folklore, The Long Pond Studio Sessions. And how can I forget her merchandise? Taylor has launched a range of merchandise, including clothing, accessories, and home decor, available on her official online store. And her fans buy it like drugs. I mean, it's so cool. Why wouldn't they? But you know what else they buy? Her besties beauty products. If you guessed the name right, then you're the top fan. Just kidding, it's Selena Gomez. The singer slash actor has a makeup line called Rare Beauty, which she launched in 2020. The brand aims to promote inclusivity and self-acceptance, focusing on creating makeup products that enhance natural beauty and feel suitable to wear. Some of the essential products in the Rare Beauty line include the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation, the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner, and the Lip Souffle Matte Cream Lipstick. The brand also offers a range of blushes, highlighters, bronzers, tools, and accessories like brushes and sponges. In addition to creating high-quality products, Rare Beauty also supports a range of social causes. The brand has committed to donating 1% of all sales to the Rare Impact Fund, which provides resources and support to help people access mental health services. Rare Beauty also promotes body positivity and self-care, encouraging people to celebrate their individuality and embrace their unique beauty. Talk about a wholesome brand, but it's time to move a little closer to the next musician, who's Halsey. Halsey, whose real name is Ashley Nicolette Frangipane, is a singer and songwriter, and she has recently started establishing herself as a successful artist and entrepreneur. She launched About Face, a makeup line, in 2021. Halsey has branded her company as chaotic and eclectic, emphasizing the importance of becoming the best version of yourself. Despite being relatively new, many About Face products are nearly sold out. Wowza! Yes, Halsey, get the bag, girl. She's known for donning a hardcore, edgy style with experimental hairstyles and unique fashion. Her struggles provide much of her motivation for what she does, and she aims to promote self-expression and individuality. That's not all. In 2020, Halsey published a memoir, I Would Leave Me If I Could. The book is a collection of essays and poems exploring her experiences and struggles. She's all that and for a reason. Well, that's all on the countdown of musicians who run successful business empires. 